Hello, hello, my beloved waking gods and goddesses. Welcome to Love, Truth, and Beauty. Do it yourself or divine in the flesh, where our PTSDs, our pains, trauma, suffering, and dramas are golden gateways to waking up and staying awake, where we get to learn how to navigate the ups and downs of the totality of human experience in this perception managed reality, where our true divine natures and our true seven senses in our our sensual sensorial world have actually been hijacked and squished down into five sense reality. Before we get started, please do give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please also hit the notification bell and choose the all setting so that when I upload videos, the YouTube will let you know. I generally upload Tuesdays and Fridays, 2 p.m. Eastern. Please also share and comment freely. You may email me. My email is down in the description box. My name is Mario West and I am your hostess of the highest here to upload, download, inspire, and usher you into your bestest and brightest selves, your bestest and brightest light, and inviting you all to open your hearts wider and wider still. Oh my God. All right, kids. Wowie, we are amidst a global freefall right now, a reality shift, 3D, 4D, 5D, whatever the fuck you want to call it, it is a reset. Now, whether or not this shift is the actual shift into the age of Aquarius, a golden age, a human creative renaissance, the shift from sixth level young soul perceptivity into seventh level young with a looky and a gander at the upcoming first level mature soul perceptivity or the end of times. We are all in this together, learning to feel and be present even amidst stark terror, stark uncertainty. We need to feel our feelings, my loves, the fears, the terrors, the anxieties, with everything that's uncertain, the what the fucks, what am I fucking gonna do? What about my kids? What about this? What about my job? And learning to allow life itself to direct us moment to moment. I spent 18 hours last Tuesday, which is generally my long day, sitting with folks over Skype and Zoom and FaceTime, listening to folks vent their fears cry in helplessness over this, what the actual fuckness of whatever's going on. It is absolutely imperative, my loves, that you have a safe space, a safe place, a safe person that you can vent and speak to and express all your feelings about everything that's going down, all the confusion, all the I don't knows, okay? Because avoiding these hard feelings is not going to serve you, nor is it going to serve the collective. It will, however, serve to feed the agendas, whatever these agendas are, of the powers that want to be with our unowned, unexpressed, over-identified with over-the-top secret feelings, not-so-secret feelings, and emotions and reactivity. We are the heart-based new humanity. And we are experiencing the totality of human experience in this perception managed reality right now. Whether we are experiencing what the New Agers are calling 3D, 4D, 5D, or all of them simultaneously, um, that would be me. This is an opportunity to use all our tools. And that's what this video is all about. So one of the first things that I want to implore to you all when you can to turn off your Wi-Fi and technology as much as possible for hours on end, if at all possible, okay? I want you to start engaging your meditation practices. And if you have never meditated before, I suggest that you start. You start by, you can go on the YouTube and you can put in the little search box meditation and start checking it out. Start doing your own due diligence. This is a good time to restart, revamp, 
revisit our yoga practices, our dance practices, our swimming practices, if you are lucky enough to have a swimming pool. This is a good time to be in saunas, if you have one, uh, in our hot tubs, taking baths, napping, chilling out. This is a good time to revisit all of our grounding exercises that we have studied. Tai Chi, Qigong, martial arts, whatever it is. This is a good time to do energy work to help with the stress, whether that's tapping, EFS, or EFT, emotional freedom technique, tapping, sorry. Uh, any, any kind of energy work, breathing, Reiki, any kind of energy work, pranic healing, what, whatever is your thing, balancing your chakras, whatever, okay? This is a good time to be out in nature while we can, walking, hiking, hanging out in the garden, tending to your gardens outside, inside, hanging out on your decks, your porches, your lawn chairs, if the weather permits. This is about tending to what is springtime for those of us in the Northern Hemisphere and autumn in the Southern Hemisphere. This is a time to get together when we are in close quarters with our immediate families, our children, cooking, sewing, cleaning out the closets, the drawers, cleaning out the garage. Perhaps you're going to be spending more time with your kids and your immediate family members and being and doing so more than ever. Check out what that brings out. This is a good time to listen to music, to playing music. Um, I got an email from a, uh, a Facebook friend of mine who was talking about doing this album by album by album, starting from A to Z, and each day playing one album after another, after another, after another consecutively. This is a uh, an LP collection that has been growing since the early 70s. I can relate. I'm that old. Okay. So in terms of playing music, I'm blessed to have a grand piano in my dining room. I'm blessed to have guitars and basses and drums and other musica noisemakers. Uh, those of you who've always wanted to start learning an instrument, maybe this is a good time. There's so many like really cool applications, apps that are uh, available if you want to do that, or you can just fiddle around, okay? This is a great time for creating art, for painting, for drawing, for using whatever medium, a uh, charcoal, uh, um, creating content, videos, creating programs for those of you who are content creators. I've received actually several dozen emails from folks actually asking me, what online app do you use? Um, I need to learn how to deliver my program, my Pilates, my yoga practice, my, my, uh, my weightlifting classes uh, remotely online, all right? So new people learning how to use Zoom. Oh my God, wonderful, nice job kids, all right? This is also a good time to just sort of hang out with yourself, dream journal, revisit, revisit some things, um, and to like really dial down your nervous system, all right? So I wanted to share with you some of the stress and well-being uh, tools that are like readily available and um, because we need to dial down our nervous systems. We have been, we've been shocked, all of us, over the curvature of this planet with whatever the powers that want to be, whatever this virus is, I don't know. I don't have any answers. But we need to be vigilant. We need to be practical. We need to be careful. We need to engage all of our tools because our minds have been blown, okay? So one of the first things that everyone should have is this. It is 
Rescue Remedy. Do you see that? Okay. And this is really great. It comes in a pastille. It opens up. You just press here. And it comes in these little lozenges. Okay. This is good. This is really good for when you're really, really tripping out. You can pop one of these in your mouth. They are good for kids too. They're also good for pets. They have some for our pets because our four leggeds our two leggeds our pets, they're taking this on as well. They're taking the stress on. The other things that I recommend are two Living Tree Orchid Essences. And these are the ones that I'm using personally. This one is called Positive Flow. This is the Living Tree Orchid Essence. And uh, I want to read this because for me, because I'm in a position of holding space and listening to this, this negativity for hours on end, I need to be in the flow. So here's positive flow. It combines the essences of positive outcome and pushing back the night. Doesn't that sound great? And so it says, our primary abundance combination brings the positive attitude of positive outcome to the high reach and power of pushing back the night. It provides one with a shift in mental outlook along with strengthening of the third chakra and also the Ajna center. Okay, so one of the things that's going on with this shock is that it is allowing the powers that want to be to activate all of the negativity associated with survival, which is first chakra, also manifestation, first chakra, with our sense of creativity and helplessness, our being in the senses and not wanting to feel, uh, feeling uh, uh, less than abundant with this uncertainty, that's second chakra, and also the helplessness, the helplessness where we feel powerless, that's the third chakra, okay? The Ajna center, the third eye, this is in charge of our superpower for what? The realm of all possibility, so that we don't forget who and what we are as creative beings. So that's my whole thing with the positive flow. Okay. I'm sorry, my lighting here. There we go. That's better. All right. The next thing that I'm utilizing is a thing called revelation. Okay. Because I are, I'm always asking the divine for guide, guidance. And so what revelation is for is this combines crown of serenity, fruits of love, also pushing back the night, true connections, and so what this is, it helps to open up those network paths, okay? So the network paths and revitalize them. It also brings clarity to the soul's purpose. It renews optimism and provides the energy to shift into a new state of mind, all right? This is what it is to be awake, is that we get blasted with shit and then we clean off the shit and we pick ourselves up and we keep moving forward and we have a renewed sense of purpose. So that's what I'm using Revelation for. Now this is the Living Tree Orchid Essences. You can look them up. I will leave the information in the description box. Okay, the other thing that I have too, which uh, I, I know a lot of you were like talking about, well, you know, all the cleaning products are gone. Uh, what can we do? What can we do? So I have a few things here. They're from doTERRA, but you can find them on Amazon. You don't have to do doTERRA. There are other substitutes. This is Suya, and it's a doTERRA. This is the Arborvitae. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but yeah, this is it. And what I do is I take three drops of this, I put it in 91% alcohol in a squirt bottle and I'm squirting away in my kitchen, in my bathroom, also on my hands. I'm doing that. The other thing too that I have is also by doTERRA. This is On Guard. On Guard is a really, really good thing too. You could do the same thing. You can put it in water. I put it in my laundry. Um, that kind of thing. So you can clean off tables, clean off counters all kinds of stuff. 
You can put it in hand sanitizer and make your own with the alcohol, 91% or 70%, I think that's what they said was the minimum, and you just, you know, spray it on, okay? So that's something. The other thing too is I've got behind me this diffuser. Now, if you don't have a diffuser for the essential oils to send it out into the air, and it's very, very refreshing, and uh, a lot of them have antifungal, antiviral, antibacterial properties that refresh the air. What you can do is you can actually take either boiling water and put some drops in that boiling water, or or you could put it in a bowl of water and place it in whatever room you're in, and that will disperse it as well. You can also, also, also just open it and sniff away. How cool is that, right? Okay, so one of my favorites is the Immortal. And what I find about the Immortal or the... Uh, what else is it called? It's called the, um, oh shit. It is that helichrysum. I might be saying this wrong, but this is very warming. It's very soothing. It's very cozy and grounding. Very, very anchoring, especially when we're, when we're activated. So I highly, highly recommend this. The other thing too is another doTERRA. This is called Elevation. And what elevation is, is that it's very uplifting. And especially when we're getting hammered, you spend any time on social media or you spend any time on YouTube and the, the news is like popping up. There's all the stuff that they're wanting to feed us automatically. It's fucking stressful, okay? So I recommend that you just not go there. So here are some of the ingredients that's in elevation. Um, tangerine. Lemon myrtle, Melissa, Ylang Lang, Osmanthus, Sandalwood. These are really, really earthy, earthy, earthy scents that's going to like uplift and also bring things down just in terms of the, the intensity to our nervous system. Okay, the other thing too that is very much needed is clearing your personal space. Now, whether this is, I'm just gonna pull these out. Uh, this is a Palo Santo stick. This is really good and they're really inexpensive. And this is a Nag Champa stick. I am gonna recommend that you, uh, you can also use sage. I'm not a fan of sage though. Um, you can smudge yourself, burn this, wave it all around, wave it all, all around your house because what you wanna do is you want to disengage those lower level entities that come off the news, come off the YouTube, come off all the, the sort of shocks, the little shocks of what the fuck is going on in the world that comes from any of these, any of these channels, okay? So this is a way to just like really clear the space, really clear you. Um, I have friends that, uh, with their kids, they do these smudging ceremonies with the kids before they go to bed. So I highly recommend it. Before you go to bed, clean your space. Clean yourself off, all right? I am lucky that I'm actually not doing anything differently because I have been in a hermitage for years and I'm a recluse, other than when I have to travel the world, all right? And somehow, some way, I've been prevented from traveling the world, okay? But over the last week or so, I ventured out. And I have to say that I have only witnessed the very, very fucking best in humanity. Humorous toilet paper memes notwithstanding. So this is a time of reckoning, my loves. It is a time to put aside he said, she said, they said, we said of the right, left, and center, okay? And we have to come together because this is a very rude spiritual awakening that's, that's going down. It is unfurling and it is shoving all of us into the wild unknown. And to see the bigger picture for what it truly is because you know what? The powers that want to be, they have worked really extra hard to separate us and divide us on every subject. 
whether it's sex, whether it's politics, whether it's the environment, whether it's the food we eat, you name it, they've done it. Do not give in to your consent with your consent. Don't do it. Because these are low vibrational entities. They are not human, okay? And they require to feed off fear and our despair, our hate, our panic, our negativity. Refuse their needs. I want you to stay grounded and engage all those many tools and practices that you've collected over the years. I know you. I know you have. So that you can remain calm and centered. Stay connected and be kind to each other. Remain as a love that you are. This isn't a test, my loves. It's happening. It's on. Whatever this is. So the two biggest practices that you can participate in to help grow this heart-based new humanity and lessen getting caught up in the yeah, yeah, gaga, zaza of the global shit show is number one, to practice forgiveness. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to link the Ho'oponopono Hawaiian forgiveness practice in the description box below and you can check that out, okay? Even the simple declaration to yourself during a meditation, I forgive myself, I forgive you, I forgive the world, is extremely powerful. And number two, keeping an appreciation journal. Keeping an appreciation journal and practice seeking the appreciation of the love, truth, and beauty that already surrounds you. Now, regardless of our individualized circumstances, we are all in this together. So be the love that you are. Share your love. Be safe. Activate your creativity and your common sensitivity. Here's to love, truth, and beauty. Until next time, my loves.